what it do guys and welcome to a lost ark video about engravings starting off any game is always thrilling to jump into the experience but daunting due to the amount of information or mechanics to learn lost ark definitely has one of those feelings by completing some quests you'll be given engraving recipe pouches and all it takes is one look at them to go oh what the f so i hope you're sitting comfy let's go over these recipes and what they really mean now first things first once you obtain these engravings in either forms of a chest or a pouch, what I want you to do is to leave it in your inventory or pop it in your storage until you feel like you are comfortable to begin opening them. Do not rush this. Let's begin by locating where to find engravings. First of all, select your roster, then open up your engraving effects tab to browse and see what you currently do or do not own. Engravings are split into two different categories, the first being a combat bonus. These are engravings that are shared between all classes, meaning that if I unlocked one here, I would unlock it for the current server I am playing on for all other characters I create. So you'll notice a lot of different classes somewhat sharing engravings when you look up their builds and guides. The other category is called a class bonus. This is, as you guessed it, specific to your class. A different way for you to use your special and provide a different playstyle. So how do we unlock these, you ask? As you can see, each engraving has a number situated between the bottom ends of the circle. This is always out of 20. Just remember that as we move on. Speaking of remembering, do you remember those engravings that I told you to hold on to in your inventory? Right, now check for their rarities. You will be needing 20 of each rarity to upgrade nodes within your engravings. This goes as follows. 20 uncommon, 20 rare, 20 epic, and 20 legendary. Each one chest or each one pouch will contain one book. So go ahead and keep that in mind. For now, let me open some for you and throw it into an engraving that currently has no progress in them. So I will be choosing Contender. Before you open a chest or a recipe pouch, check to see if they are selective or random. Pay attention to the text description written within. This one right here says selective. It this states that I can pick and choose what I want to. So I will select Contender and I will receive a book which contains one out of the 20 points that I want to invest into my engraving in Contender. Just for video purposes and for scientific purposes for you guys, I will actually use all of the others as well. This is because if you unlock multiple books from one chest or recipe pouch, then you can stack the books if it's the same rarity and the same name. So this means instead of reading them one by one, you can combine all of them together, stack them on top of each other, hold left alt and right click to read the entire stack of them. At this point, you're getting the idea of how to unlock them, right? 20 of each rarity within each graven. That means that there is a lot of books that you'll be needing if you want to collect all of these and an awful lot of money that you'll be needing if you want to purchase them off the market as well. And believe me, when they start hitting epic and when they start hitting legendary, they are not cheap. Now, just like the popular TV show Art Attack, here is one I prepared earlier for you. Let's look at the popular engraving most DPSs take, Adrenaline. Here we can see, if I hover over it at the bottom, it's telling me that I require more rare books to advance to the next power node level, which means I have already used 20 uncommon books to get this far, and at the current rate, I've used seven rare books that I've invested to help its progression. So let's say I now want to use this engraving in particular, which gives me attack power build up and critical rate increase. I would open up my character profile and just underneath the gear on the left hand side are two empty circle slots. If you only have one for now, don't worry, you'll unlock both down the line. I now want to drag the adrenaline graven into one of these empty slots. I can even do that as well by right clicking. This is equipping my adrenaline engraven, so we're almost there. Within your character profile, head over to engraven at the top, and you can now see that by bringing the adrenaline engraven onto my character, I now have three no points within the skill. But this means that it's level zero and it's still not really active because I need to achieve level one within this graven, which means if we hover over this, I will be needing five node points for level one to unlock it. So do you remember when I said that the engravings rank up for each 20 rarity books you put into your engraving, it ranks up the rarity? Yes, however, with that, it also adds an extra plus three nodes to that engraving. So let's see what happens if I now bring this next engraving called Grudge over to my character as this one has six points into it and is already a rare going into an epic. 
Now, by adding this one, you can see I instantly have level one access to grudge, giving me the lowest benefit power from its return. You ideally want to reach level three as you get maximum returns and full benefits from their stats. Now, 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 I know what you're thinking. Wow, this is a really good video. And do you know what? I am thankful for you guys thinking that I'm in your mind already. At this point, I'm going to go and remind you that if you do enjoy the video, please go and hit the like button because I'm going to go and show you another way to increase these nodes and to get more out of your engravings accessories and jewelry necklace earrings rings and stones for now will all give you extra points to your nodes this is where the rng part of the game comes in and where you'll be requiring particular roles and items to balance out the engraving benefits you ideally want to achieve so key note as long as you remember to have five nodes you will achieve the benefit from level one so if we just go with that pattern to achieve level two, you will need a total of 10 nodes from accessories and from the equipped engravers. To achieve level three, you need 15. And anything that exceeds over 15 won't count for anything. It's level three and 15, that's the maximum. And you can equip the same engraving twice to double up those node points. This is something that you'll want to do in the early game between 302 score and about 1100 gear scores. You probably won't have the greatest setup with the accessories just yet. So you can drag that over or you can also go and hold alt and right click to go ahead and equip this on quicker. Speaking of stones earlier, you can actually facet your stones and these can give you really good node returns right off of the bat. It's actually one of the better ways to go ahead and get them. If you would like me to show you the best ways on how to actually facet the stones and to help your probability, then please show this video some love and let me know within the comments section. I can actually get right on that for you. Keep in mind that some accessories give a negative effects to your character as well, such as less movement speed, attack speed, or less armor, for example. Ideally, you don't want these, or you want to achieve at least as little of these as possible. And for their rankings, it's the same for all of the other nodes. Again, level 1 is 5, level 2 is 10, and level 3 is 15. So try to keep as little return as you can possibly get. All in all, engravings seem a little complex, but they aren't as complicated as you may think now. I hope this explanation has helped you understand the concept of them and as for the engravings that your class needs to take i recommend searching for build related websites and i can add some of those websites to my video description for you to go ahead and browse at your own time this way you can get ready to start unpacking your chests and recipes to upgrade your character and feel more power thank you guys so much for watching the video and if you didn't understand that's okay that's probably on me so please go and leave a comment and either myself or another commenter will get back to you and help guide you along as always i hope you enjoyed the video i always stream over at twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy if you want to swing on by and say hello otherwise any support in the video is much appreciated but until next time i will be seeing you again in the next video